Kia ora and welcome to Block by Block Uprising in about three minutes. Prototype copy used, not a paid preview. It has no solo mode. It's a game for two to four players, playing time is medium, and it's a moderately complex game. It's a tense night in Block City. Twice before they tried to break the shackles, and twice before the state's boot came crashing down. But this time it will be different. This time they are organized like never before. It's time to take the city back for the blocks. In the cooperative mode of this game, you win once each player has claimed one of these objectives. You lose if time runs out, or or one player has all their blocks removed. AI, your police opponent is controlled by card actions. Dice, actions use dice. Some actions need higher numbers. Player turn, draw police cards based on morale and resolve them. These police cubes move to the prison area. If a card increases police morale to a new level, the next player will draw that number of cards. Then place one block at your starting place and roll three dice for actions, four dice for five blocks or more, and five dice for nine or ten. Each action you take, you spend a die. Any value die can be used for these actions. Move any number of blocks to a connected area. If the metro is open, you can move between metro spots on the board and keep moving. If you move into an area with police, you must stop. You can place barricades between tiles. One stops one police two stops two, and three stops all of them. Police when moving remove one barricade each. Another action is to send a block to the meeting. These actions need a die higher than or equal to the value on the tile. Looting a shopping area to get a loot card, or placing graffiti to help claim an area. Defeating one police cube, or pushing two back to an adjacent tile. Placing an occupation marker in a region. This one lets you spend any die to get a block. Occupations are one way to lower police morale. This occupation lets you spend a die to draw one loot card per adjacent graffiti and select two to keep. Police vans are tough and need three hits to take down reducing morale. Any die action can use combined dice as well, and Molotovs give a bonus to dice rolls. After all players have acted, draw a reaction card and repair any damaged police vans. Each police cube removes one block or occupation, police vans destroy everything. Then resolve the rest of the reaction card. Here the van moves to the liberated airport and places a cube. Then if there are double a tile's value in blocks, you may liberate that region. If it is a public region or adjacent to another liberated area. Resolve the liberation card's effects, lower morale, and then place the tile back on its new side. Then check if the meeting has blocks equal to the revealed objectives. If so, reveal a new objective. Purple can claim this one immediately. Why would you like this game? Well, this is the third time I've covered block by block on the channel, and for good reason. I absolutely love this game, and I am happy to see it coming back into print with what should be the definitive edition. There's been some changes I really like, such as the meetings and objective systems, as well as changes around looting and graffiti, and overall, it's an improvement to one of my all-time favorite games. But why would you like it? Well, it's a firefighting co-op game done extremely well, jammed to the brim with tough choices and an implacable enemy that just wants to wreck your day. It feels like a crossover between a pandemic-style co-op and a war game, and is far more tactical than most firefighting co-ops. I also love changing the dull city to its bright, liberated side. The best thing about this game is how well it captures the feel of a rolling street occupation against the police. However, if you have a Blue Lives Matter bumper sticker, this one ain't for you. It's an incredibly politically themed game where the cops are the enforcers of state oppression. And always play with four players or two controlling two factions each. It's a bit rubbish with three. For something less politically charged, try Pandemic Fall of Rome. And for a different sort of political co-op where you need to kill Hitler, Try Black Orchestra. Block by Block Uprising, a three-time gold medal game. All power to the blocks. Three Minute Board Games does not do paid content. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.